Sometimes okay, so I was ha- oh. Gilmore Girls that needs to pause for a minute. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This has been going all over YouTube and I've heard nothing but good things about this foundation. So I decided to go ahead and why not do a first impression for myself because I have heard plenty of good things and there could never be too many first impressions on a foundation especially if you are doing research on the specific foundation um so yeah like i said i've heard nothing but good things so i have very very high expect expectations for this foundation i got two shades i got the color amber beige and then desert beige so hopefully one of these if not mixed together will be my skin tone at the walmart where i purchased mine these two were the darkest shades but i do know they have around 20 shades um available from the lightest to the darkest um because i went on their website and they go it goes pretty dark um, but I haven't seen the actual display like I said my Walmart only like these two were the darkest ones So hopefully one of those does work out for me now. I am on the wet and wild Website and it says it retails for $5.99 like I said if I counted correctly There is 20 or 24 shades I will obviously leave all of that information right here and the information will also be down below and the description of it is your skin but only better our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time especially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin the hashtag no filter perfection it's high performing breakthrough formula Featuring a light adjusting complex to help prevent the white cast in photos tested under seven conditions and without the use of flash. And then the claims are, I'm just reading all of this off of the website. I will uh, link all of that down below as well and I will write everything down in the description box as well. And then it says, goodbye photo flashback tested under seven light conditions with smartphone models. Clear blue, and it, you know, it says all of the um, filters that it used. It says, a panel of women were tested. Okay, it's just pretty much saying that it is picture ready and it looks absolutely amazing in pictures. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and just get it started. And as usual, I am going to be doing one side with the brush. And the brush that I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And then also one side with the Beauty Blender. And my face is already primed with my Smashbox Photo Finish Pormanizing Primer. And I also did apply my Murette Oil Control Mattifier SPF 15. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in. And we can go ahead and get this review going. Okay, so hopefully you guys are zoomed in well enough. So here is my skin right now. As you guys know, if you guys have seen my previous um, videos, or if you guys are new to my channel, you guys can see that I have a lot of acne and acne scarring. I'm actually breaking out right now. Um, but other than just the breakouts that I do have, as you guys can see, I do have that... Um, really this is my bad side this is all of the acne scarring so we're gonna go ahead and see how well it covers and how well it wears throughout the day and surprisingly today it's gonna be 79 degrees outside so it's gonna be perfect to go ahead and do this first impression I know 79 degrees in February crazy so um, and I'm actually gonna go out and about and run a couple errands today so it's going to be the perfect time to actually do this first impression because one, it's hot and I'm actually going to be out of the house doing stuff. So like I said here, I'm going to give you guys another visual of how my skin looks. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out which one of these two are my shades. Again, I have amber beige and desert beige. I kind of want to say desert beige is more of my skin tone. It has a little bit more of a yellow one versus um, amber beige. So amber beige is the one on the top. See, amber beige is the one on the top. And then the one on the bottom is desert beige. So amber beige is a little bit pinker than desert beige. So I think I'm going to go ahead and go in with desert beige. Um, and I'll let you guys know if I do end up mixing them. And this is what the packet, I'm sorry, I'm so bad at this, but 
This is what the packaging looks like. It has the black top and then the actual bottle is glass. It does not come with a pump, but when you twist it up, it does come with a little spatula, which I could see it being handy, but then again, I could see it being unsanitary, but I figured if your face is clean, which it should be, then you should be all right. So we are gonna go ahead and just apply it to our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and just yeah, see this one looks like it's going to be my shade. So I guess you can consider this being like the first layer. It does not matter what kind of foundation I use. I will always need a second layer because my acne scarring is so bad. So this side we're going to go ahead and do it with the beauty blender. Wow, it is actually giving me a pretty decent amount of coverage right away. And I'm surprised because it's not a thick foundation. It actually feels a little bit more runny. So I'm actually amazed at how well it is covering this up. Now, right now, as one layer, this is a light coverage foundation with one layer. So here it is with one layer. Obviously, you guys can definitely see a little bit of that acne scarring peek through. Um, so obviously, if you guys don't have as dark acne scarring as I do, I'm pretty sure you guys can get a full coverage with one um, layer. But of course, me personally, I'm going to go back in with another one just on those areas because it did do a good job at covering the rest of my skin. It's just the specific areas that I need to go back in and touch up. So we're going to also see if I can go ahead and build up this coverage. So. This color is actually not too bad on my skin tone. It is not exact, but it's not too bad. I am not definitely not mad at it. We can definitely make it work. I'm actually digging this spatula pretty well because I feel like it's just less messy. You don't have to pour it on your hand. You don't have to pour it anywhere. You can just go ahead and get it straight from the bottle. Okay, so this is definitely buildable coverage as you guys can see. It did cover it a little bit more. I still see like the super, super dark ones peeking through, but for the, for the most part, this is doing a pretty good, a pretty good um, job at covering. Obviously, like I said, the darker ones are going to be a little bit harder to cover, but I'm not mad at it. It's, it's doing a pretty, pretty good job. Pretty, pretty good job. Again, you guys have to keep in mind that my acne scarring is super, super dark because I know some other people that have like really, really nice skin. Even Casey Holmes that has rosacea, it covered it amazingly. My acne scars are just super, super dark. So, but honestly, I feel comfortable like this. Like it's, it's not bad coverage. So for me personally, I want to say this is a light to medium coverage, but it is buildable. So now we're going to go ahead and work on this side and see if the um, brush can give me a little bit more coverage. So let's go ahead and try that out. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing, apply it to my face, and then blend it out with my, did I say real techniques? I meant my e.l.f. buffing brush. Okay, I am absolutely loving it with the brush. I do see that I am getting a little bit more coverage with a brush, which 99% of the time usually is the case with um, foundations, especially drugstore foundations. 99% um, of the time, I like to apply my drugstore foundations with a brush. I do not know why, but drugstore foundations apply amazingly with a brush. It might just be me, it might just be in my head, but I feel like 99% of them apply amazing with this. And then like the higher ends, I love to apply with my um, beauty blender. Okay, so 
Again, same thing, my darker acne scarring is peeking through just a little bit. But again, that is always the case with me because my acne scarring is so dark. But I do feel that I did get way more coverage and it was actually quite easier to blend with the brush and quicker. I don't know if you guys caught that as well. So this is with the Beauty Blender. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and go back in with the touch-ups on this side really quickly and see if the brush, if you can build it up with the brush, which I'm pretty sure you can, but let's just go ahead and test it out. All right, yep, so just as I suspected, you can build it up with this brush, or with a, a brush. So, uh, first initial impression, I am absolutely loving it. Like I said, it is medium to, no, it's light to, slight to medium coverage um, obviously if you have better skin than I do I always say this this can definitely be a full coverage it is very 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 lightweight I do like how it applies with both the beauty blender and the brush but I do get more coverage and I feel like I can blend it out quicker with a brush which is a little bit weird but it looks really 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 good the color is just a little bit off but with a little bit of powder and concealer we're gonna be good to go um, but right now I am really, really, really digging it. I feel like it looks good compared to the before. This looks really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and everything that I do use is going to be linked down below. It's going to be the usual products I use on an everyday basis. I'm not going to switch it up or do anything special. Um, so again, if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of the stuff that I did use on my face, it will be linked down below. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like with all of the makeup now on. It looks absolutely flawless. Now I did go ahead and take some notes while I was applying my makeup because I really didn't want to forget anything because I tend to forget things really, really quickly. Um, but anyways, um, the first thing I want to say is that this foundation looks absolutely beautiful. I even went outside and I asked my husband what he thought of it. He said it looks really, really good and it does not look like a $5.99 foundation. It does look matte, obviously, as you guys can tell. And as soon as I applied it, even with the Beauty Blender and the brush, it looked matte. It had no trace of any kind of glowiness to the skin, so it is definitely matte. Also, it does dry really fast because when I went ahead and I applied my concealer, it was really, really, really hard to blend out my concealer because my foundation was so dry. So, and I, and I, and to mention, I did use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, which you guys know if you've tried it, this is a very, very super blendable concealer. It's amazing. So, um, if you are gonna use this foundation, I do recommend that you work with it quickly. Um, it was actually pretty easy and quickly to blend, but as far as applying concealers and stuff, I do recommend you guys do it fast before it sets in. Once it set in, I could feel the how matte it was. My face was so stiff. Um, not like discomfort stiff, but you can tell it was a mattifying foundation. Um, but yeah, so like I said, if you are going to apply this, make sure you go ahead and apply your concealer really, really quickly because that did give me a little bit of trouble to blend out. Um, and I did use my beauty blender. And then, yeah, once it dries, it feels super, super matte. So those are the things that I noticed right away, um, is that it dried, it dried really, really quickly. And if you're going to apply a concealer, apply it right away because, like I said, it makes it, it'll make it easier to blend it out before it dries, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, that is all that I have to say right now. Like I said, it is amazing. It does look absolutely beautiful, as you guys can see. Again, it does feel super, super matte. I don't see any trace of shininess on my face other than the highlighter. Everything was easy to apply besides the concealer because, like I said, it was it did dry before I was able to apply it and blend it out nicely. If that made sense, again. But right now it is 12.25, if you guys can see, in the afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and go on with my day, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey, everyone. So I am now back for the last check-in for the day. I didn't do a midday check-in because... I completely forgot my camera and we have been out all day. We literally got home maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago and I'm going to go ahead and sit down and I'm so winded. I want to go ahead and sit down and do this last um, check-in or the final check-in and my final thoughts because I am so exhausted you guys. Like I said, we've been out all day, 
super super exhausted, ready to get my hair out of this ponytail, take my makeup off and relax for the rest of the night because it's walking dead night. <laughs> I am filming this on Sunday. So anyways, um, it is now 7.17 p.m. and I have been wearing this foundation for a total of seven or a little bit over seven hours already it is putting up very very nicely this is without any touch up or anything the skin looks really 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 good i do see a little bit like itty bitty the smallest amount of oil coming through but it's nothing that i feel that i need to blot So yeah, this foundation has put up very, very nicely. As I said, I do see like little bits of like oil coming through, but it's nothing that I feel the need to blot. I feel like it's just making the foundation look a million times better. It doesn't feel as matte as it was, but it's still really, really matte as you guys can see through the viewfinder. Everything is holding up very, very, very nicely. Nothing has faded at all. That highlight is literally right there and it is saying hello. So from a 1 to a 10, I really, really do recommend this foundation. This to me is more of a medium coverage because if you guys can see, I still have those dark, darker acne scarring peeking through. So for me, this would be a light to medium, but buildable coverage. I don't think I would be able to get a full coverage because you guys saw I did do that second layer. But I still feel really, really, really comfortable with um, the amount of coverage that it gave me. I feel like this foundation is amazing. Um, if you guys have acne scar, like dark acne scarring like me, obviously it's going to peek out just a little bit. But if you guys don't have acne scarring and I feel... Um, like even if you have redness, this is going to do a very, very good job at covering it. I don't, I normally don't have any redness, but like I said, I have seen Casey Holmes and she has rosacea and it completely covered her redness. Um, so yeah, I feel like this is a, a good foundation. If you guys have not gotten your hands on this, haven't, you guys see, I am so tired. But yeah, if you guys have not gotten your hands on this, I really do recommend you guys do it. But anyways, I hope you guys did like this first impression. Give it a thumbs up if you guys did like first impressions. And give it a thumbs up if you guys do like first impressions in general. If you guys have any other foundations you guys would like for me to do a first impression, leave it down in the comments below. Or any of your thoughts or any other videos you guys would like to see from me, definitely leave those all down below in the comment section. If you guys have not subscribed, I really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. Thank you guys so much for everyone who's subscribed so far. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Bye.